hot messes. I hope you like my mood lighting. By mood lighting, I mean it's 7 o'clock in the winter in Ohio, and I should have woken up earlier to film this, but I didn't. This week on Answerly, we're continuing our new little book theme, and today we're talking about our favorite authors. So the only way I can think to list some of them without offending some of them in my brain universe where they care is to go through my life and talk about who my favorite authors were at different points of my life. Okay, so number one in my list of favorite authors throughout my lifetime is Beverly Cleary. You probably read some of her books when you were younger and she might have even been your first chapter book. By far the most important thing in the whole world to me was Ramona Quimby. Just this bomb ass series about a little girl and her sister and it was set in I believe the 50s and used all this weird antiquated language that I didn't realize was weird and you need to read it even if you're old even if you're not babysitting someone or anything, just read it on your own. Ramona Quimby is the best. Okay, jumping ahead a little bit, obviously J.K. Rowling is on my list. You really don't need me to explain how Harry Potter is a big part of my life if you've ever followed me anywhere else on the internet, ever. But J.K. Rowling continues to prove herself to be amazing, even outside of the Harry Potter series, because both The Cuckoo's Calling and The Casual Vacancy are awesome. Which brings us to the next author on my list, Sarah Dessen. I love a lot of YA authors, but Sarah Dessen has them owned. Okay, so I've always loved reading in my life, but I feel like each of these authors sort of refreshed my love for reading, and Sarah Dessen definitely did that for me when I was a teenager. I started reading her books in, I think, seventh grade, and they mean the world to me. And that brings us to college slash today, and this one sounds so, so lame, so I'm gonna need you not to judge me. Um, I sound like a loser, but Shakespeare. Here's the thing about old Willy Shakes. If you speak another language, sometimes there's this really cool thing that happens where you read a phrase or a sentence or a quote or whatever in that other language, and you think about how you would translate it into English, and you realize there's no exact equivalent. Like, this quote is a thing you can only say in Spanish or Greek or French. And Shakespeare is English, and really modern English, actually. Like, it's pretty damn similar to the way we speak now, even if it doesn't seem that way. But obviously there's a lot of words and phrases and expressions in Shakespeare that we don't use anymore. And on several occasions, I found myself reading a line from a play or a sonnet or whatever, and trying to think, how would I translate this into, like, modern day talking? And then I realized that you can't that it's sort of like the language thing, like, this is the only way you can say that. That's so cool. It's like the experience of speaking another language, but while speaking your own language. And that probably sounds dumb, but I don't care. This is the stuff that makes me passionate, apparently. So those are a few of my favorite authors, and I'm looking forward to hearing about Joe's and Christina's later this week. So you guys at home watching, I would really love to hear who some of your favorite authors are, either currently or throughout your life. And if you'd like to tell me, please leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Occasionally, I'll be recording a video, and I feel like I am on the verge of a burp the entire time. So then I worry that I'm just gonna sound like out of breath but really it's just like potential burp brew.